Hello everybody, this is The Exception, and welcome to week 10 of the NPA. This week, myself and the Tampa Bay Luxuries will be taking on Sin and the Cedar Rapid Thunderous. Down below, you'll see my team and the team I am expecting him to bring. Um, I am very nervous for this matchup. Um, I don't think I've said that all season, that I have been nervous for something. But it is true this week, as it will be the next few weeks, because really need to get some wins. Um, Sin is the last battle that I have that is going to be outside of my division. So, while this battle doesn't matter a whole ton, it does matter because I need to get some wins. Uh, and it makes it a lot harder for me to get into playoffs if I don't win. So, let's go with something I don't ever listen to. Aether Foundation, why not? Um, I think I have a pretty good matchup against this team. Uh, but it's going to depend on a few things. Uh, mostly whether or not Snorlax can sweep, I think. Um, and he does bring the Golurk. And he brings a couple things that I wasn't expecting, really. Uh, no Sneasel. No Megazard. <laughs> the best thing about having a rain team is that your opponents do not bring their strong fire types versus you. Now, I really do think Zard could have come. I think he could have come. I... It doesn't surprise me that it's not there, but I I wouldn't have been surprised if I did see it. Um, and then go Lurk over Sneasel. Go Lurk. Oh, gosh. Uh, so, basically, Snorlax, Snorlax cannot sweep until go Lurk is gone, because I, I'm running Body Slam on Snorlax with no other attacking move on it. Um, it's the basic set. Uh, I'm leading with Zorark 100% of the time. I don't want uh, Gardevoir to trace Swift Swim at any point in the match, so that's going to be important to remember. And I want to get uh, Zoroark out there, that way I can hit the... Um... Oh, shoot. Uh, let's see. Withdraw that. Withdraw that. Um... Enter. I want to have um, Thunderous be last in the party, and I'm good with that. So I'm leading with Zorark in case he leads with Galvantula to try to get up webs. I figured this is what he would try to do. And I have a couple ways of getting rid of webs. But I would prefer just to kill off Galvantula right at the beginning of the match if possible. And we'll see how that goes. We will see. He leads with ACDC. The Galvantula. Galvantula. Okay. And I am leaving with Zoroark, which is disguised as Thunderous. Um, so, whew, looking at this matchup, um, he could just hit Thunderbolt. I am running a Focus Sash, that way I can live a Thunderbolt. I want to get off a big flamethrower here, just hit it. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to. I'm not going to predict right off the bat. Um, I think he wants to set up webs. I'm not going to like you know go for the over prediction and think he's going to switch and do something else. Um, I think this makes sense here. Now, he, he could expect a taunt. I am Thunderous, so um, that is something he could he could see coming, but don't specifically know if that's what he's going to do. I think Webs is a safe play if he's Sashed anyway. If he's not Sashed, then it's not a safe play, but he could still try to go for it. <sighs> oh, I'll be so excited if I can get this off the table here. If I can do that, this battle will have started out pretty much exactly as planned. Um, I know I didn't have Galvantula on the expected Pokemon to come, but um, I, I was very prepared for it, um, and and I thought it would be a very viable strategy against me to get webs up, because my team relies so much on the rain. So he does just go for the webs right off the bat there, and that makes sense. Um, so I'm going for the Flamethrower. I'm just going to kill this thing, hopefully. He didn't have the sash. That is great. That is great that he didn't have the sash there. So we've already knocked out one of his Pokemon. Um, and Galvantula wasn't a huge threat or anything, um, by any means. Not a huge threat, but... Um, Getting rid of the webs uh, means that once I bring in my Thunders to Defog, he will not have webs to set up again, um, <laughs> which is going to be great, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully. Um, 
It also means that Zoroark has more or less served its purpose. Um, so he's going to bring in Star Raptor. Uh, Star Raptor. He's got the Intimidate on this. Okay. So Star Raptor versus Zoroark. I almost typed in Zoroark into the uh, <laughs> into the calc here. Uh, so Brave Bird would kill. Flamethrower would do about fifty percent to this thing. I don't know if it's worth going for it. Um, I don't know if I want to save my sash. He could very easily U-turn here. U-turn makes sense to me. Uh, if he wants to go for the close combat, um, I could probably switch into Thunderous. I just don't know if that is um, going to be worth it here. Um, you know... For the most part, Thunderous does just switch into this uh, very easily. Very easily if it goes for close combat here. So I kind of do want to make the switch and preserve the um, Focus Sash. Or I could just go for a big, big old Flamethrower. <laughs> Possibly get a burn. Um, but, eh. We'll see. I think uh, I think the safe play is to switch into uh, Thunderous. That's what I'm going to do. It does put Zorark at the back of the party, which kind of sucks, because now it's going to show a Zorark when it comes out, but not much to do there. So he does just go for the U-turn. And um, that actually does a lot of damage. Just a lot more than I expected. Um, and I do know he's Intimidate. Um, that was a lot of damage. That was more than expected. wonder if he's banded. Banded Staraptor? Hmm. That would make sense. Yeah, that looks like a banded, uh, banded U-turn. I didn't see any life orb damage there, so. Choice band. That means Thunder should outspeed it. Um, here, he would be be very safe to go into Golurk, but he doesn't know that. I could have HP Ice. I could have uh, Dark Pulse. Plenty of things I could have. Um, and he's got to make a decision on this. Um... If he brings in Gardevoir, I think I just hit Defog. Mm, what else could he bring in here? I don't know. I have HP Fire for the uh, Ferrothorn. Uh, I really don't have anything for Golurk on this. Which kind of sucks. Um, Golurk is going to be... Scary. So he does just bring out the Gardevoir... Um, and he's going to get the Prankster. Hmm. Now, I wonder what he will have on this. Gardevoir. Will Gardevoir kill me? Um, if it's Choice Specs... If it's Choice Specs, it has a decent, decent chance to kill me. Um... I kind of want to hit defog and just get rid of the uh, get rid of the webs, and then next turn if I'm still alive, I can go ahead and hit um, hit uh, thunder wave because getting rid of webs is going to be the most important thing for this match. So that's what I'm going to do: just get rid of that and um, go from there. Um, the nice thing about him not bringing Sneasel is that he doesn't have anything to block out my Prankster ability. Um, and I actually can block out his Prankster if I just switch in Zorark. But, I mean, <laughs> that's really not not a good move. <laughs> um, so I do get my Defog off. I do get that off. What does he do? He goes for Moonblast. If it's Specs, it'll kill. It's not Specs. 
Could be Scarf. I'm going to hit T-Wave, like I said. I think that's the safe play. I don't really need Thunderous specifically anymore because Galvanch has been dealt with. Um, it would be nice to have it for uh, Ferrothorn for that HP fire, but not the biggest thing in the world. Not a huge deal. So he does just go for the energy ball. He's revealing that, that he's not Scarf. Um, not Scarf. Now. Now what do I do? Hmm. Wonder if I'll outspeed with... I'll definitely outspeed with, um, with Swampert. So, I mean, I'm not... I don't really care about that, though. What about... What if I bring in uh, Kabutops here? And just go for a big old knockoff. No, no, not Kingdra. Kabutops. Kabu. Typing doesn't really work on here too well. So, that'll do a lot of damage. Actually, a Stone Edge. Um, Stone Edge could do a lot. Um... And he'll kill me with a Moonblast, which would be bad. Would be bad. Hmm. Hmm. But I'm, I don't care. <laughs> but I don't care. I'm going to do it anyway. Um, yeah, that's, that's a great idea. This is how I win matches, right? Um, so I'm just going to hit knockoff. I hit knockoff. I need to get damage off on Gardevoir, and I need to get rid of it. I um, guess I don't need to get rid of it, but it is the safest way to play this match, I think, is to try to get rid of Gardevoir. Um, I really... I kind of also need to get a free switch. Um, if I can get a free switch into, like, Zoroark, then I can do a lot. I can do a lot of damage to his team. Starmie is a little bit of a problem, um, although not versus Snorlax, I guess. So, um, The only thing I really have to worry about at this point is getting rid of um, Assault Vest. Okay. Energy Ball. I don't know if that's going to kill. Probably, yeah. Okay. That's fine. That is fine. Everything's okay. Hmm. AV. All right, so I'm just going to bring in Zoroark here. And uh, I think that's just the safe play. Bring in Zoroark. Bring in Zoroark, and um, basically I'm going to hit Shadow Ball because that'll kill this thing. Um, that'll kill this thing. He can't go into Golurk or Starmie because it'll take a big Shadow Ball. And then it'll also have to take a Sucker Punch to the face. So, um, his only thing he could really go into here would be Staraptor. And that's if he... If he guesses I'm going for Shadow Ball. Um, I, wait, well, let me check and see if I have to go for Shadow Ball here. Because if I could go for Flamethrower... I could go for Sucker Punch. That would kill it. Um, does look like I kind of have to go for um, Shadow Ball, though. Looks like I kind of have to do that. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to hit Shadow Ball. Okay, cool. And we are just going to knock it out. We are just going to knock it out. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. Focus Sash is still intact as well, which is great. Does he have any way to set rocks? Um... Yes, he does. He has Ferrothorn. But I'm not super worried about that. Green Day. I could also try to bluff the, um, the Scarf. I could do that. Try to bluff the Scarf. Bluff the Scarf. Hmm. Switch out. So. I mean. Pelipper's the... Hmm. Do I do that? I just go for Shadow Ball. And then he has to go into Ferrothorn. Kind of. 
Hmm. I can kill Ferrothorn with a flamethrower. Really, Golurk is, is the biggest thing standing in the way of the Snorlax sweep. Um, I don't know what to do here, though. Because I'm tempted to just hit, uh, hit Flamethrower. Um, and then I reveal I'm not choice, though. I just don't want to hit Shadow Ball and have him stay in. Because that would really suck. If that happened. So. I'm going to hit Flamethrower. He goes for the Brave Bird. Okay. That's fine. Maybe I should have switched into. Um, into uh, Pelipper. But that's fine. We get the burn. We get the burn, which is really nice. Um, and I'm just going to hit uh, Sucker Punch now, because that'll definitely kill it at this range. Uh, although we will reveal Sucker Punch, but that's okay. It's okay with me. A-OK. -okay. Right. We are going to knock it out. Cool, cool. And then he's in a tough spot, because he brings in Starmie. Starmie gets hit with Sucker Punch. Um, Golurk gets hit with Sucker Punch. Also with Shadow Balls. Uh, Golurk gets hit with Shadow Ball. Starmie not so much because, um, I'm slower and will die to it. <laughs> but, uh, I can hit Sucker Punch on Starmie. So he can't really bring that in. Uh, Ferrothorn gets hit by Flamethrower. He's in a very, very big predicament at the moment. Very big predicament. Um, if I were him, I would, I think, maybe Starmie. Yeah. That makes sense. Makes sense to bring in Starmie here. Um, I am at minus one on the attack, so Sucker Punch is actually only going to do about 50%. Which kind of sucks. Do I need... Hmm. I wonder if I need to switch here. I might. I might need to switch into Snorlax. Or into, um, into Pelipper. I just... Golurk is such a big issue. Because I don't want to set up the rain, because then Ferrothorn has a big... Big lead-in, basically. It has a big... It, it can just come in, you know? Um, I don't know if I want to let this die. I think I might want to keep it around. Might want to keep it around. So if I go into um, Snorlax... I'm not going to take too much. I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to go into Snorlax. I want to save Zorark here. Reflect type. That's pretty weird. That is very weird, in fact. Um... What do you do here? I don't know what you do. <laughs> um, I'm tempted to just hit Body Slam. So I'm going to do that. Body Slam. I think um, Golurk probably comes in. But, it, I mean, I can't do anything to it. So, it doesn't really matter. If Golurk comes in... I think I just go into Pelipper. Go into Pelipper, and then you turn into Swampert or Snorlax. Hmm. I don't know. 
I wish I had better options. I guess I don't have terrible options for Ferrothorn, but... Really, I, I don't want to hit Super Power on Ferrothorn too often. Because of the uh, Iron Barb's damage and possibly Rocky Helmet. So he is with, gonna withdraw. Into Lincoln Park, which is the Golurk. Okay. So now I'm gonna go into Pelipper. If I can get rid of this, <laughs> then I win. I win with Snorlax, so. That's gonna be the goal here. He does set up rocks, but I can get rid of those. Um, Um, he could switch out here. Golurk. What do you have on Golurk? Does Golurk get Energy Ball? It might. I'm going to check Showdown or Smogon real quick. Because um, I'm not really sure. gets Grass Knot, and I'm, it's got to have that. It's got to have it. So, I'm tempted to hit Defog, because I think he just goes into Ferrothorn here. So I'm going to do it. I'm just going to hit Defog. Yeah. Yep, Ferrothorn comes out. So, um, all right, this is going to be a tough matchup to win. Um, I can take a power whip. I'm just going to hit hurricane. I just want to see what kind of set he's possibly running here. He's probably got leech seed. She'll suck. If he has leech seed, that's just sucks a lot um but if i can get rid of this and if i can get rid of go lurk i mean really go lurk's the big issue if i get rid of go lurk i sweep with snorlax so i'm just gonna go for the hurricane we're gonna hit uh we do a good amount he goes for the knockoff gonna knock off our damp rock that's actually better for me i think um i'm gonna hit hurricane again I don't know if he has Power Whip. I don't know if he has Spikes or or what. If I can get rid of this, then Zoroark also doesn't really matter. Um, it will be nice for Starmie, though, to get off some good damage. But Starmie knows I have, um, knows I have uh, Shadow Ball and Sucker Punch. So it would probably just go for Reflect-type on me. Then it won't take as much damage from Shadow Ball or from Sucker Punch. Power Whip coming in. And we live it. How many turns of rain do I have? Four out of eight. I am going to be okay here. It's going to hit Hurricane again. If it has Leech Seed, it really needs to go for it. Okay, doesn't miss. And I die. Not good. Not good, but um, not the worst thing in the world. With the uh, range that it's at... Um, with the range that it's at, I can do quite a bit um, to him. So I'm going to bring out Barney the... <laughs> Barney the Swampert. And... Uh, Gonna Mega Evolve and go for. I don't know. I don't want to go for Waterfall. I think we'll kill with anything here at this point because it's so low. 
Um, we will kill. Uh, I'm actually. I, hmm. We are in the rain. I'm a little bit worried here to hit Earthquake, just a little bit, because it looks like he's about at 20%. No, I'll kill. I'll kill. Even if he has the uh, the ground berry, the shucka berry, I'll kill. So I'm going to hit Earthquake. We should kill this thing. And then Starmie comes in. And Earthquake to Sarmi will do a whole bunch. Um, and the reason I say Sarmi comes in is because I don't think Golurk can come in. Because it'll die. He has to bring in Sarmi. Yeah, Sarmi comes in. Um, pretty sure I just hit Earthquake and do a whole bunch of damage. I don't think it can kill me. The best move it has for me is Hidden Power Grass, and it shouldn't be able to kill. Shouldn't. But we'll see. Just hit Earthquake. Not enough to knock it out, but that's fine. Scald. Cool. It's fine. Even if it burns, it's fine. Didn't burn. So we're good. Um, now I just hit, uh, Earthquake again, and then I hit Waterfall, and I think that's it. I think. Maybe. He doesn't get any priority moves. It really, I mean, it really depends on if, uh, Golurk dies to a Waterfall here. I don't know. It should. Especially in the rain. I don't see it surviving. Mm, not good. Not good. Still should die. Still should. Um, is, there's a chance it could live. Chance. Small chance. Um, but really, even then, um, he has to go for rocks here. Um, well, I'm, if he doesn't go for rocks here, Zora comes in and, and uh, kills. So um, it doesn't really matter because if he goes for a, a move to kill me, um, all out speed anyway. And then, um, you get what I'm saying. Yeah, so I outspeed. Um, gonna get this off. If it kills, cool. If not, Zorark will save the day. Do we die? We do die. Zorark will save the day. All right. Oh, don't do that. <laughs> oh. <sighs> almost went into, uh, almost went into Snorlax there. That would have been bad. All right, now I just hit Shadow Ball, and end this. Please? Please, please. If he kills me here, then... Good, good, good. <laughs> good game, Sin. Uh, good game. That was, a, that was a lot closer of a match than I thought it would be, um, because... If he hadn't brought that Golurk, Snorlax would have just swept through his team. Um, he really didn't have much to deal with it. Um, so, and I wish I had prepared a little bit more for that Golurk too. But um, good game to him. His links will be down below in the description. Make sure you go check him out in his side of the match. Um, I am, I'm very happy with that. We get a 2-0 win. Um, not as much of a differential as I would have liked, but uh, still good enough, you know. Every win counts. Um, I really need to win the next two weeks. And then, hopefully, we make it into the playoffs. Anyways, guys, peace out. And I'll see you guys next week when we play the Choice Specs and um, the, uh, what's their team called? One second. <laughs> and the Orlando Magikarp. Right, the battle for I-4. Anyways, guys, peace out.